This is the Leidenfrost effect. When a pan is very hot, water dropped on it won't boil, but instead hover on the surface. Johann Gottlob Leidenfrost, a German doctor, was the first to document his observations of the Leidenfrost effect back in 1756. He noticed that if a surface was hot and you dropped water on it, the water would instantly boil away. But if the surface was very hot, the water would form tiny bubbles that would glide on the surface. So why is this? Well, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius at sea level. So if the pan is above 100 degrees, then the water will instantly boil away. If it's a little bit below 100 degrees, then the water will just kind of quickly evaporate. But if the pan is far above the boiling point of water, say 250 degrees Celsius, then as soon as the water droplet hits the pan, it will create a layer of steam for that water droplet to float on and the water can hover on the surface of the pan. This is a process known as film boiling. A thin film, in this case water vapor, cushions the water from boiling all at once. This way the heat has to go through that layer of vapor before it reaches the water. And the water slowly and continuously boils off to fill that vapor cushion underneath. And the droplets are actually hovering. There is a space of about 0.1 to 0.2 millimeters where water vapor separates the water from the pan. And this means that there is almost no friction between the water and the pan. So if you give the pan a spin, the water will just keep spinning around and around. Usually the contact of the pan with the water creates some resistance and will stop the water from spinning. But since the water is floating on a cushion of its own vapor, there isn't much slowing it down. So it just keeps spinning. The temperature at which the Leidenfrost effect occurs varies wildly. It really depends on the surface and the amount of water being used. For example, this iron griddle has to be heated to over 300 degrees Celsius before the Leidenfrost effect occurs. And on the other hand, this steel pan Leidenfrost at just 110 degrees Celsius. And other research has shown that on some surfaces, the Leidenfrost effect doesn't occur until 500 degrees. And on the other hand, some surfaces with hydrophobic coatings, basically water-resistant coatings, the Leidenfrost effect will occur below the boiling point of water, below 100 degrees Celsius. So try this experiment out for yourself. All you need is a pan, a stove, and some water. See what pans work better, and tell your friends and family about the wonders of the Leidenfrost effect. Look at that. That little water droplet there is just hovering on the surface of the pan. It's not even moving. There it goes. <laughs>